Hood, Oregon. And Mount Hood is right over there. Starts to rain, we're gonna get wet. So I'm kinda stuck here. The cops won't bother me. Just took my first crash here. Scouted some places that might be uh, good to camp overnight. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. But this area looks promising. Yeah, Mount Hood. Not much hiking here. It's kind of cool. There's a. Uh, it's summer. And a lot of people just skiing. You see the gondola going up and down. But yeah, not much hiking. But, uh, just head back now. Kind of tough to, to hike in boots and motorcycle gear. And I have to carry the, the jacket. This is pretty much what Oregon looks like. Pine forest everywhere. Check out the campground I found. This is actually off a national uh, forest pave or gravel sandy road. I mean, this is actually pretty difficult terrain to ride. Somewhat um, sandy. I haven't seen this sort of soil before. It's actually really interesting. Um, as far as I know, these roads seem to go for a while. And right now, this is actually a pretty well manicured sort of a road. But back there, it was pretty soily. I, let me show you how I got in. And it's a nice campsite. Like, I'm surprised. I guess people have uh, camped here before. It's got the, the fire pit. It's got some like sitting branches, some sitting logs. I lost my front end quite a bit here. I just bought this little propane whatever stove. I've never used one before, but I was kind of wanting to eat beans or something warm, so I bought it. I should have actually bought it in the beginning of the trip instead of waiting for a towards the end, but I'll still get my uh, use out of it. Never used one before, and I was uh, really wanting some like some hot food, and I can't really afford to go to a restaurant, so um, I bought some cans of uh, soup and one of beans, and I'm using it right now. It uh, should be heating up, hopefully. Um, and I bought some um, Additional food. I think I'll eat a little bit healthier this way, making my own. Made a little fire. It's night. I hope it's uh, legal. There's my tent, my bike. I got a little fire going. I usually don't get fires. I don't set up fires <clears throat> because um, they give away my uh, location, but there's nobody here. Except I saw a guy walking by, which was kind of odd. Um, I also noticed that the PCT is nearby, so I wonder if um, that has something to do with it. It's um, campsite. I wasn't bothered. So far it's been pretty good. I think I'm going to explore some of these uh, gravel roads today, see where they go. Interesting about riding a motorcycle is the vulnerability like you you always feel like it could, something could happen like you know if it starts to rain you're going to get totally wet and cold but hopefully you come through and nothing happens i've had one crash that was kind of tough but uh i think um, it made me see things a lot uh, better and i started riding a little bit more carefully too I just noticed this. There's a, a bulge in the front tire. Look how that looks. <clears throat> well, this, there was a the little branch or a little tree over here. I had to go around. It actually took me a little bit of time. Look at this. 
I went around, started slipping here, but seems to be okay. Yeah, time to continue. So I'm kind of stuck here. The uh, wheels dug into this, and it's right before getting onto a gravel road. Look at this gravel road right here, and the bike is right here. And look at all of this. Oh man. So I have to rock it back and forth. Hopefully, I can get it out. It's just digging itself more and more. I'm gonna turn it sideways. Hopefully I can get out. Look at the hole. It was much deeper, but I filled it with gravel or this dirt. I wasn't expecting to. Whew. And right at the easiest part too, like just dug in. <sighs> well, we're ready to go. Whew. I just had to get uh, through this road and I realized it's closed, but it's open on the other side. And I had to remove one of my panniers in order to get through here. But I had no idea this was a private property. Let me just get this case. I mean, I have to remove it to get through this because it hit this thing. Huh. I didn't want to have to go all the other way around. We're ready to go. I think we're going to meet up the road right over there. 